This is Richard Cuyava. I'm a professor of geography at St. Michael's College. I was struck today by the um, USGS posting of articles and the celebration of 50 years of Landsat and 50 years of continuous Earth observation. So I'm on the USGS.gov webpage here, and um, I found on there the page that they posted, I just zoomed in just a little bit, that they had posted two images of an area around Garden City, Kansas. And that is in the southwest part of Kansas. And it's an area where a considerable transformation in agriculture occurred because of center pivot irrigation over a period of time. And so the first image they have is August 16, 1972. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that there's also an image from August 26, 2021. And so that's almost a 50 year change in um, agricultural ground cover and I thought that was very interesting, August 16 to August 26. And so it's ex seasonally exactly right. And so I thought that what I would do is make a quick video that shows you how to take those images and make yourself to share with friends, colleagues, in classes, whatever your interest is, a photographic swipe that compares the two images. Now, what I'm going to use for this is I'm going to use the Juxtapose platform at the Knight Lab at Northwestern University. And it's just juxtapose.nightlab.com. And we'll come back to this tab in just a second. What we need to do, though, is we need to get durable URLs for both of those images. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm on a Windows machine. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to copy the image link. And then I'm going to make a new tab. And I'm going to paste that image link in there. And you'll see that what we've got is no text, just image. So we've now got a link, a direct link to that image. And we're going to hang on to that for a second. You can see here that it says label date 16-1972. Let's go back to the NASA, excuse me, the USGS page. Let's go to the lower image and let's open that image in a new tab. And you'll see there's the newer image. Now, here's where things get, um, here's where we actually make the juxtapose. So let me pause this for a second. So we're on the juxtapose page and you'll see that it's simply juxtapose.nightlab.com and you, we are going to make a juxtapose. And so I'm going to click on it and you will see that what we get is <clears throat> some boxes we need to fill out. And here there are two URLs, one for the left image, one for the right image. And then we get a chance to label things and give credit and so on. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the 1972 image and I am going to copy control A, control C. And then I'm going to clean out this box and paste that image, that link in there. Same deal on the right hand side. I'm going to take the later image and I'm going to copy the image, uh, the URL. And I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to skip the label, but I'm going to put USGS Landsat as credit. And I'm going to put the same as credit. Now, we get some options. We don't need to really review those, but we can show the label. Since we don't have a label, we'll click that off. Um, we're going to show credits. We're going to make this responsible. 
and we're going to make the slider um, a horizontal one, so from left to right. You can make it vertical, so it goes from um, top to bottom. But this is a preview of our juxtapose. And I think what you'll see is in Garden City, you'll see the startling presence of a bunch of red, bright red circles. And that is center pivot irrigation and the vegetation that results from it that is actually signaling the satellite that it is vegetation. And that is how you make the swipe, but it's better still. If we click on publish, the night lab will host the, the uh, swipe for us. We can get a direct link to it, or we can get some HTML code to embed it. And I've embedded these swipes on a learning management system in blogs. And so this is, uh, this is something that is durable and useful. I'm going to click, get the link and I'm just going to post it on a new page and I'm going to press F11. And here we have a swipe of 50 years of change. That's 1972. If we swipe over, that is 2021. Very close to 50 years. And you'll see that the image is a little bit larger than the single screen. So you can adjust that. You can play with that. These also project very well in class if you're an educator. In any event, that's how you make a swipe using juxtapose and a link, a pair of links to durable images from different time stamps. This is Richard Cuyava, St. Michael's College, Professor of Geography, enjoying the USGS release of 50 years of land use change in the area around Garden City, Kansas. Thanks for watching.